Christmas briskets. You can't ask for better than that, can you? We are fortunate, James. What's this? It's for you, Papa. It can't wait till tomorrow. It'll be too late. Is it something you made? No. I found a penny. I wish I had something for everybody. Being my daughter is gift enough. Go on, Papa. Open your present. Well, all right. We'll make an exception this time, since tomorrow will be too late. It's today's paper, Papa. It's today's. Not a soggy, smelly one from yesterday. But how did you manage to... <laughs> the newsboy let me buy it for a penny. It was his last paper. Thank you, Virginia. I love you. And I love you too, Papa. Well, now, I won't be reading the Help Wanted column anymore, will I? <laughs> but the world goes on. You put that cat down and you come and help me with these dishes. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Would you all come in here a moment? There's something I think you should be hearing. Right on the front page. Is there a Santa Claus? We take pleasure in answering at once and thus prominently the communication below. Expressing at the same time our great gratification that its faithful author is numbered among the friends of the sun. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? And it's signed, Virginia O'Hanlon. Well, Papa, what does it say? Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist, and you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas! How dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The external light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they do not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor man can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not. But that's not proof that they're not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseen. unseeable in the world. You tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest men, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived, could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, Love, romance, can push aside that curtain and view the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, 
In all this world, there was nothing else as real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia. Nay, ten times ten thousand years from now. He will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.